What the actual fuck is ASMR? If you saw the title of this video, that might be what you're thinking right now. Okay, so I'm in a way bigger room than I usually am. Cool t-shirt. <clears throat> this is a new location. That's all the actually good YouTubers call it. This is a new location, uh, aka my basement. <laughs> I'm just distracting you so, do, so you don't listen to me. What I wanted to talk about today is ASMR. Uh, and that is ASMR. Yes, those four letters. Four letters. What it stands for, what it is. Because if you've been on the internet, which you probably have since you're here. Are you here? Is anyone even here? Good luck with that existential crisis. If you've been on the internet, you might have heard of something called ASMR. And you've been like, is that a weird sex thing? Kind of sounds like a weird sex thing, doesn't it? I mean, I'm not saying I'm not into weird sex things, but it isn't a weird sex thing. ASMR is not a weird sex thing. ASMR stands for, fuck off. I had to Google this because I'm not smart. ASMR stands for Autonomous bleh, Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. Say that seven times fast. I can't even say it once fast. I'm not going to say those long words once more, so eh, you have to play the video back if you can't remember what it stands for. And it basically is sounds or sometimes pictures that makes you feel good just run up and down all my stairs. Have you ever tried one of these things? You know, it looks like a ketchup and balloon whisk, but it isn't, because that would be kind of dangerous. This is one of those things that you do it like this with. Maybe you just use it for scratching your head, but sometimes it gives you like a bit of a tingle. Ooh, a bit of a tingling feeling in your brain. And that feeling <laughs> is the kind of feeling that some people experience through ASMR. So you don't have to have one of these, you don't have to poke your head with it in everywhere you go to get that feeling. Not everyone can experience ASMR. I can, to a certain extent. And some people can't at all, but uh, some people just use ASMR as a way of chilling. <laughs> okay, sorry. To like, make them feel good. Or some people just use it to like, fall asleep, to fall asleep faster or to feel calm and relaxed. Because a lot of the ASMR videos are like, whispers and Things like this, I have to get really close. It can be things like whispers and <coughs> mouse sounds and layered whispering and things. Because in the ASMR community, which is basically as the people who like ASMR, 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 and the people who do, who create ASMR content, the people who create the content, uh, most of them use this really soft voice and they like whisper through the whole video. Yeah, so that you'll be able like to relax better. It's called triggers. Now it feels really bad to use the word trigger just because yeah a trigger trigger is normally something that you see that people use like trigger warnings to uh, tell other people that this is something that might uh, cause you anxiety or uh, might trigger your depression or yeah like self-harm and things like that. It feels bad to say triggers, but it's called triggers, ASMR triggers. For some people, whispering is a trigger. For other people, tapping, not sure if you can hear that, is a trigger. I kind of, things like this make kind of my brain tingle when I hear it, I'm like scratching on things. And for some people, it's whispering. And other people like mouth sounds. For other people, it's other things. For some people, it's personal attention. So there are quite a lot of videos where it's like a simulated hair cut and things like that. Just for like the hair sounds and the feeling of that someone is taking care of you. And that gives people this tingling feeling in their brain. Yeah, good shit. I'm not good at making actual ASMR. I, that's not what I do. <laughs> ASMR is basically a thing that makes people feel relaxed or like they have a tingling feeling in their brain. Some people fall asleep to it. I fall asleep to it sometimes. And there are so many different types of ASMR. 
I don't know. Ooh. There's also visual ASMR. I've been watching a little bit of visual ASMR. For example, uh, people drawing with like fountain pens and things like that. I I like that. <laughs> people drawing and writing can ki can count as visual ASMR. And also, a lot of people. Almost the whole of the ASMR community loves Bob Ross. <laughs> uh, that's kind of what made me think of this video. If you don't know who that is, he was a painter. He's dead now. Uh, that's really sad. Um, sorry. Uh, he was a painter who... He did like a whole series. I think it's called The Joy of Painting. Yeah, and he made a whole series of that. So people could watch it and buy it on DVD. It's like... It's a lot of episodes, like 100, and people, and he also has a really calming, relaxing voice. So, <laughs> he's great ASMR. So, so, ASMR is not a weird sex thing, unless you want it to be, and it is something that you can use to relax or to get a nice tingling feeling in your brain. Great! So, that's all for me right now. Bye! French dick! Also, if you're interested in ASMR and watching and listening to ASMR, then go to YouTube. Either go to YouTube and just look, search for ASMR. There is a lot of videos out there. Or you could check out some of my favorite ASMR artists. I made a playlist of them that is publicly open, from that you can get, see from my channel. Bye. If you want to, you can like and maybe even subscribe or comment. Bodily functions are gracious.